Welcome to Storytime, folks. Slightly different tack on today's video. We're going to be chatting through uh, trad rack stuff, okay? Uh, thanks for tuning in again. Um, been having a blast making these videos. Uh, trying to make the most of this lockdown period, as I've said before. I had a nice walk out with the dog this morning. Uh, I've come back and sit by the fire for a bit because it was, well, it's pretty chilly today, isn't it? This one is a uh, it's a request from someone. So yeah, keep dropping us messages and stuff. If there's things you want to see and um, want to learn about, then I'm happy to help as best I can. Uh, some things are a bit tricky to do, obviously sort of indoors or in the garden, but I'll do my best so far away. Uh, someone said um, my, my branding needs to be a bit more on point. So you get a bonus point for this one if you can work out where the, the subtle JB Mountain Skills branding is, see if you can spot it. Um, so go and grab yourself a coffee, sit down, have a little watch the video and we'll chat through trad timing rack stuff. Different coffee today, used to be a Letty machine. Uh, not really a machine, is it? It's thing that sits on top of your stove. A different flavour to the like the proper espresso machine. Though. I quite like, like it for sort of a lazy Sunday, um, and to be honest, pretty much every day feels like a bit like a lazy Sunday at the moment without going out to, to the real work, as it were. Um, there's not actually any coffee in this. It's just an empty cup again. I've drunk it already, um, but these things keep me amused. Right, okay, trad kit. This is what I give uh, to customers, not for free, just for lending, on, um, from my friend, on trad climbing courses with me. Uh, I've got to take that off, it's, um, I can't keep a straight face. Uh, nuts first then, okay? So I use DMM walnuts, they just work really well. Uh, and we've got a variety of sizes, ranging from a number one nut there through to number 11. They all get wrapped on a carabiner, the DMM Phantoms, these ones. And I've got a few that are doubled up. So one to 11 will do you well, but I've got something like four to seven uh, doubled, all right? And they, they're split on over two carabiners with an overlap on each one. So if I pick up the wrong set, I've probably, maybe, still got the right nut, okay? The Phantoms, uh, They've got this, they're not clean those carabiners, they've got a bit of a hook there and I actually quite like that because it's it can save your bacon sometimes because the nuts get hooked on that rather than dropping them. Some people don't like them, prefer a clean nose one, whatever you prefer is all good. Some people even prefer ovals, they like blow my mind because I can't work out which way to, to open them. You can put a bit of tape on or something but it seems like extra faff so I like these ones, DMM Phantoms. So you've got a set of nuts, 1 to 11 plus a few extra choice ones. Uh, and then I really like, because I work on mountain rock a lot, North Wales rock, uh, these offsets. So you get a slightly different shape with these ones. They've got a different uh, flair to them uh, and they work in various directions, same as the other ones. So I have, a, I have a set of these and they can turn a placement that was really worthless into like a four or five sinker nut. So really good to have those. Some places are not going to work so well. Um, I don't climb in the Peak District a lot, but people who do tell me they don't really sit quite so well in that stuff. Um, but, you know, I think they're a real worthwhile addition to your rack. Notice how they're colour-coded as well. Okay, I'll come on to that in a minute. Next thing is, uh, I've got a set of hexes uh, for DMM torque nuts, okay? These ones have got extendable slings, so you can pull them, and it means you can get away without needing a, a quick draw on them sometimes, which is nice. Um, the, these four work really well. You can get other ones as well, but the torque nuts just, um, I, I like them. Noisy little things, aren't they? Or noisy big things in the case of this one. So what I actually do is I carry two per snap gate, uh, phantoms again, and I tuck one into the other like that. It stops them banging around quite so much. So it's a cringy noise, isn't it? it? Does your head in after a while. So I tuck them in and they make a little bit less noise. Still a fair chunk, but a little bit less. Right, we need to clip our rope to these bits of kit when we place them. So we've got a load of quick drawers. Uh, I've got some, are sling drawers, so that's a 60 centimetre sling with two carabiners in it. Uh, again, colour coded, same as on the other quick drawers for me. 
silver color for the nut, dark color for the rope in my case. Um, maybe four sling drawers and then the rest of, uh, rest of them are made up uh, with uh, about six different length quick drawers. Okay, so you can see I've got sort of medium, um, small and super small, okay, work in different situations. So about 10 will get you up just loads of rock roots, yeah. Then we're moving into the kit that goes sort of per person. So both people out of the pair get issued with a, a, a snap gate with a, a nut key on it, okay? And then a belay plate each of some description with a screw gate on it, DMM bug, ATC guide. So if you're doing stuff a bit more advanced then maybe the guide stuff is something you'll want to know about. I'm going to do a video of it at some point this week, I think, about the guide plate usage and, and all that kind of stuff. And then each person has a pair of Prosix on a snap gate and uh, I can take a five mil and a six mil one. They just grip slightly differently on different ropes, okay? So I, I do like to have a couple of different things on there. Um, there should be another set because that's a per person. It's in the cupboard somewhere. And then two slings per person, yeah? Each with a screw gate on them. They're 120 centimeter slings. Uh, I think they're like eight millimeters, those ones. Uh, and that's again per person, so the other two are on Sling Mountain up there at the moment. And then we're, we've got screw gates per person, three. A big fat HMS one for your clove hitches when you're building a belay. And then just a normal D. I do really like the third carabiner, these um, the DMM Sentinels, they're like a mini HMS. They're quite flexible, those ones, I like them. Again, that's per person. There is so much climbing you can do with that load of kit, okay? And I haven't even mentioned cams yet, I will in a second. So on a trad climbing course, that's what I grab out of the cupboard by default, okay? Now, cams, right? Are they an advanced bit of kit? Well, I mean, they're more advanced than that, aren't they? But they're just completely normal for trad climbing. You know, it's 2020, everyone carries them. Do you need them straight away? Well, no, because I look at a lot of these kind of diff, v diff, severe routes that will be on as beginners, and they were climbed like the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, that kind of stuff before even these exciting things here. Uh, so you don't need them, but they just open up so many gear options. Uh, and as you progress, you'll definitely want some. All right. So I'd, I'd carry them on any route that I'm doing, really, uh, regardless of the grade. They're expensive, right? They're, you know, something like 65 quid or something for, for a single one. You know, get a bit cheaper if you buy packs of three or whatever. Um, customers of JD Mount Skills do get good discounts at places such as V12 Outdoors uh, and uh, Epic TV. So uh, give us a shout for that if um, if you want the discounts and you're a customer. Um, but a set of cams from about the silver to the blue, so zero. That's a five in DMM language. Okay, each with their own individual uh, snap gate. Another Phantom. The DMM ones have this extendable sling, which is really nice because it can save you a quick draw sometimes, uh, and they just work really well. Okay, uh, like them a lot, and you just get, you're going to need them at some point, but not necessarily straight away. Okay. Okay. Right. Other kit then, from an instructor point of view, because some people watching uh, watching from that from that side of things. On my bit of kit, I take a couple of extra slings just on snap gates, uh, 120 centimeters again, uh, the, the same as those, just a different color. I like color coded as you can see. And then other bits, my lanyards, my Kong slide, that comes with me for work. I wouldn't take that trad climbing, but I'm doing slightly different things as an instructor and I'm ascending ropes and all that kind of stuff. So it makes life uh, easier in that regard. And then on the same theme of ascending ropes and coaching, I've just got my uh, Petzl Ascension hand jammer. So that's a one way thing you can pull up on it, and then the Petzl rig, uh, which just helps me position myself on fixed lines, a weighty bit of kit, so these bits are what I carry. I'll make the clients carry that stuff because I'm getting old and my knees are aching. Uh, it's good practice for them anyway, uh, but I do carry my own stuff. On my harness as well, are these same bits that I've said uh, my customers get, so really similar. I carry uh, an ATC guide on a, on a screw gate. I've got somewhere, there we go, uh, three more screw gates, which funnily enough are much the same as what I give to my clients. 
nut key. Only difference here is it's on a bit of cord so I can clip it to the rope to save me dropping it uh, when I'm banging on those nuts and stuff. I should do it on those ones, I just haven't got around to it, but uh, maybe now's the time. I haven't got any excuses, have I, at the moment? Uh, so that, that's on the harness as well. A couple of prussics, yeah, on, on a snap gate, that's all good. Uh, and then I've probably got a couple more slings for the roots as well uh, on snap gates. Same length, 120 centimetres again. The one thing that isn't on my customer rack that I keep meaning to put on actually, uh, although it gives good talking points, there's kind of a reason for all these choices, is a 240 centimetre sling. So it's double the length. I have one of these and it clips around the back of my harness because I only use it on belays, it's not for on route. Uh, so snap gate again. And this is just great for chucking around a big boulder, putting around a big tree, equalising three bits of kit on a, on a belay. Um, so it, it does give a really good talking point and this just, track climbing is nearly always on the back of my harness, uh, good to go. Um, so I would have one of them, but I wouldn't get more than one. There's just not much need for more than one. Your other slings, and you've always got the rope attached to you. You can do a lot with the rope. Okay. So that's it really, that's, that's a trad rack right there. Uh, just a couple other things to mention really, were well, bits that I've got clipped up here. As you're climbing a bit harder, you're gonna probably want some smaller stuff. You might want bigger stuff as well, you can get cams as like as big as your head and stuff. Not really my kind of climbing that when you start getting your arms jammed and stuff, but uh, some people love it. Uh, smaller stuff is normally the way I go because that's the kind of routes I prefer. Got these micro cams, these are, these are Totem Basics, really small, nice soft grippy metal, super bendy as you can see. Sadly you can't buy them at the moment. Um, DMM do some dragonflies which I've only used very briefly but they seem really nice so that, that might be a good shout. Like I say, sort of E1 upwards, something like that. Uh, you might want to start carrying them. So I have a couple of them, down to quite a couple of small sizes. And then the other thing is that, certainly don't come with me on every route, but if I think they're gonna be uh, useful, I'll take them, because they're pretty light as well. DMM IMPS, Immaculate Marginal Protection is what that stands for. And these are just real small brass nuts, okay, down to tiny like that. It's rated to sort of four kilonewtons compared to uh, this, the big green one, which is up at 12 kilonewtons. There's just not much metal touching the, the rock, is there? Um, so you have to be very careful when you're placing these. Um, they can be a bit of a godsend though. You might place a few together, okay? Uh, or to, you know, back up another piece, or even if it's just psychological protection, sometimes that's really useful. But actually the biggest ones, like that one, uh, they're a bit stronger, seven kilonewtons. And, uh, you know, they actually overlap with the size of the normal DMM walnuts, right? So they can be really nice to use. And you get offset versions, there's some offsets on there as well. So those are the bits of extra kit for me. Only then, a couple of differences are, for me on my personal rack, I really like these black diamond C4s. They're just very nice to use, they're super smooth. Uh, they're kind of, a, yeah, I, I just like them. They've got a thumb loop, some people prefer that. You can clip straight into it. Uh, that's more used to aid climbers, not something I do. Uh, I, I just really like them. I'd be happy on these the rest of my life. I'd be happy on these the rest of my life. It's nice just to mix it up a bit, actually. There's loads of brands out there for all these bits of kit. Everything's gonna be safe as long as you're buying proper kit, not some dodgy Amazon rubbish. So do watch out for that. It just comes down to personal preference. I mentioned colour coding, right? And that, that's important to me, uh, but it's, you see, I think it's really important to the beginner because I know exactly where everything goes on my harness. So with my eyes closed, I can reach the blue cam around the back, the silver cam around that side, all these bits. So when you're learning, it's great just to be able to glance down and see uh, the red cam, red snap gate on it, but bits like that. It'll just make your life easier and smoother and more efficient until you get to really know it. And it, my personal kit still got it all colour coded on. Anything to make my life easier when I'm stressed on that trad route, you know. So that, that's a nice idea. Uh, I use, I'm not going to talk too much about harnesses, but I use an Arcteryx one. Yeah, they're quite pricey, but they're super comfy. Right. Uh, four gear loops with a sort of a fifth one around the back, if you like to use the fifth one around the back. I said, just get in the habit of doing it the same way. Whether you're clipping in or out, it really, it really doesn't matter. Uh, whatever works for you. Uh, but just have the things you'll need en route at the front, you know, so sort of nuts and quick draws, uh, cams for me, and then stuff like screw gates right around the back and nut key right around the back. You don't need them on the pitch, yeah, uh, just for the belay. So that's just a general thing. Personal preference as to what you put where, though, just once you've come up with a system, stick with it, okay? Um, yeah, so light is right. 
to a point. So nice light snap gates. We've got to walk a bit of a distance sometimes to try climbing. So you'll get to the climb feeling fresher. And actually when you're climbing, it's quite a lot of kit, obviously not all of this at once, but it's quite a lot of kit to have dangling off your harness. So if you can get a few grams saved, you're just gonna be more comfortable. If it's gonna, is that gonna bang you up a grade? Probably not, but it will make you have a nicer time perhaps. Okay, so there it is, trad racking, uh, my take on it. I did a blog a while ago on the website, so do check out JB Mountain Skills website. There's a few old blogs on there, they're not that old actually. Um, with Sometimes it goes into a bit more detail, so feel free to have a look at that. Fire away with any questions, whether that's real geeky stuff as to why do I use that rather than that, or should you buy this rather than that. You know, I'm always happy to answer them. I get back to every message uh, or comment, sometimes if it, if it might take me a day because I just don't get around to it. Um, but if I haven't replied within a day or so, just drop us a message because I might well have missed it. You know, I'm getting quite a lot of messages, which is ace. It's real cool to have all this interaction with people. And I'm, I'm glad that um, it's providing some entertainment for people and giving people a chance to practice a little bit. So yeah, click the subscribe button, much appreciated. Click, click the like buttons, share these videos with other people. Um, visit our Insta and follow us on there, JB Mountain Skills. Uh, click on the Facebook page, same name. It's all really appreciated at the moment. Um, extra so currently, all right? Thanks very much for watching. More videos coming along very soon.